Welcome, Monkey Hill friends. This is Skullhead, King of Monkey Hill for more than 20 years. According to the feeders, he used to be a fierce and dauntless leader a few years back. Other troops would retreat whenever Skullhead was in sight. But that's ancient history, Skullhead is now a retired king living a simple life. Nevertheless he is still a respected king in his troop. Other troop members, even high-ranking males like Ethan and Wilde, still bare their teeth whenever he walks by. He simply takes a more hands-off approach when dealing with external affairs nowadays. He's really one of a kind. I think he is actually a doting father and grandfather, but doesn't always like to express himself. The truth untold is that, he is quite good with kids. I once caught him taking his grandson Luca out for a walk. Okay, enough about me, my life is boring. You should comment more on the domestic drama between my wives and children. Alrighty then. Let me introduce Skullhead's household. This family tree is based on my daily observations and some deductions from available facts. These are the main players, presumably Skullhead's wives and children. Let's start with Olivia the most loyal wife of Skullhead. She is the lowest ranking member amongst the group of highest ranking females who are related to Skullhead one way or another. That's Charles, Olivia's son, born in 2021. And there goes Skull Head. Wherever he goes, Olivia follows. This is Carol, Olivia's daughter. And this is Edwin one of the alpha males in Skullhead's troop. As a first-time mom, Carol did a good job raising Tyler. Okay, let's give them some privacy. This is Olivia's son, Corey. One of my favorites. Quite a handsome young man he is. He's also a very bubbly character. He lets me groom him. And now, I proudly present.
the Cory Handshake. I just can't help it, he's a joy to be around. Moving on to Abby's family. This is Abby, the matriarch, the highest ranking female in our troupe. Her three daughters are Maddie, Elaine, and Ella. Abby's favorite is Ella, which makes her more superior than her two sisters. Oh, come on, Ella. Don't make a fuss. Your sister didn't mean to piss you off. Ella is a really good mother. I'll give her that. She gives Ray her full and undivided attention. She doesn't even want Grandma Abby to babysit Ray. I think it's because Abby is notorious for roughly handling babies that even her closest daughter doesn't completely trust her. You can tell that Skullhead is really old, just by the big round lump on his back.
Oopsies, Grandma Abby got a hold of Ray again. But at the end of the day, Abby just has a different way of showing her love and affection. Family always comes first, she will always be there for her girls and her grandchildren. This is Gemini, Abby's niece. And that's Lil Bowen, Gemini's firstborn. That's Maddie, Abby's eldest daughter who's always wearing a poker face. Bonnie is Elaine's firstborn, sister to Lil Charlotte. I wonder what life would be like if Charlotte were still around. I guess we will never find out why Elaine abandoned Charlotte in the first place. There are just a lot of things in their world that we cannot even begin to understand. I love how they just effortlessly brightens up my day. Next on the list is Sarah, Abby's sister. They're a really close-knit family. Sarah has six children. They all look alike. Except Gemini. <laughs> There's Mia, their eldest sister. She still hasn't had her first baby, I suspect that she is infertile. It's a real shame that she can't have babies, she was the one who took Charlotte. Before nature played dice and decided that Flea Picker should have her. AJ is a really shy kid, he's always hiding and out of sight. It can be quite challenging to spot him. <laughs> That's Wild, second in command of Skullhead's troops. He is notorious for his bad temper.
Our little bow in here is quite the charmer, so beware. Everyone is feasting on peanuts. Audrey is the lowest ranking female on this list. She has two daughters and three sons. There's Griffy, the newest addition to the family, born in 2021. This is Freddy, one of the high-ranking alpha males in Skullhead's troop. Rumor has it that he used to be Skullhead's right-hand man. As a matter of fact, Freddy has a teddy bear personality. Many of the feeders are fond of him. He's the golden boy of Skullhead's troop. <laughs> This brings us to the last family on this list. Aishado is a young doting mother of three. She is the most compassionate mother I've ever had the good fortune of knowing. Hi guys, I'm Belle. I reckon Eyeshadow is closely related to Abby as well. They have a very close bond, especially with Abby's eldest daughter Maddie. Belle is a lovable little kid who is always in a jolly mood.
Mummy and Sissy always give me their full attention. Life just can't get any better. Look at these kids. All carefree and enjoying life. There's definitely nothing more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Meanwhile, look at these faces. They look like they've just had a stressful week at work. That wraps it up for my introduction of Skullhead's household. I will definitely be filming other families as well. Thank you for watching.